Hi guys, um, today I want to attempt on doing kintsuki. Uh, it's a Japanese uh, technique of using gold and the base is lacquer to fix cracks or broken pieces. Today I don't have a broken piece. This is a piece I made a few months ago. This is earthenware, terracotta. And um, here I didn't join I think the two bodies, the neck and the body, was in different uh, dryness. And um, as you can see around it, it's got some crack and then there's this marvelous crack in the middle. So I will try and I've seen, we've, I've tried this kit once. It's actually from Japan. It's my studio mate Yasuko's kit from Japan. She said this is a simpler version, which still takes three days. And then she bought a complicated version, which we haven't even attempted on using it because this was already complicated. So I will give it a go and try and beautifully fill these um, cracks with a fancy kit. So as I said, it will take three days, um, but luckily I don't have it broken. Often it starts with a gluing process, which I don't have to do. I basically would have to start from the next stage of filling the gap. It's two under two mils, so I don't have to use like a paste to fill it in. I'm just going to go straight with the lacquer. And um, this is like a clay powder to fill the gap. That will be day one. And then day two, we'll have a different stage. So we'll see how it goes. First of all, I will use a masking tape to to go around this crack so I don't overfill unnecessarily beyond the actual crack I'm going to try and go as close as possible to the line So I have um, kind of tried to trace the crack with the masking tape. It's a very slow and fiddly process. Oh, yes, these curvatures are not easy to navigate. Because in effect, I can basically create the line I want to show by masking in one way. Um, that's it for the moment, I think. Here, I'm not sure, maybe I should cover it. Hmm, just a touch there. Okay. Uh, just to show you what this kit has, I think that is the brand. So all of these came from the box. I think this is white spirit. It's very toxic feeling. This is like a clay powder. This is the most important. Um, it's urushi means lacquer in Japanese. So this is the lacquer. And it comes with cutters, tiny brush, loads of like these are cleaning. You see sticks, more tools. That's the mo important final gold powder, um, sandpaper, balls to mix these, gloves, masking tape, glue, which I didn't have to use. And then this is paste, which is uh, like, um, I guess like little, little, yeah, like a little sticky paste to fill if the gap is more than two mils to um, to fill the gap before you do the um, uh, lacquer and other layers on 
So that is the kit. And now I am going to mix a paste with this clay powder and lacquer to one to do the first layer. So Somewhat, this is what we did. It's kind of, kind of been set, but it's actually liquid inside. If you see, you see. Oh, there's like a already a film that's been created in there too. Maybe I have to. Sh I should take that layer off. So that's this is basically the lacquer, which is actually quite stinky. basically mix this too. Make it into a paste. What I'll do now is basically to go in where the crack is. You can see why the masking tape was necessary. I haven't tried on a close form like this, so I'm not sure how deep this lacquer would hopefully won't sink in too much. Hopefully it will just stay where it's been placed. just want to say this is not the most professional way of doing kintsugi if you youtube there are some professionals japanese people doing kintsugi really really like the very traditional way and it's quite um, mesmerizing to just see them work but as i said at the beginning this is like a simplified kit kit to use but even then this feels um quite a good finish. I will show you a piece that I've um, tried the kit on. Just going over again just to uh, make sure the gap is filled.
and when the because the urushi kind of um, the lacquer kind of sets and I think the white spirit kind of helps it to loosen if it sets during the process Here it looks as if it's all filled. So this is day one. We have to let time do its job, let it dry for one day, and then I'll come back um, and do the next stage. So this is day two. Um, this section I had to actually go back another layer because it's sunk a little bit. So this is day two. It's very dry. So I am going to take the masking tape off gently oh, it's like a scar i guess it is a scar right Go. the first layer is finished and revealed so the next stage is actually to sand this down with a 250 grade um, sandpaper with a little bit of water mm -hmm. Uh, 250 um, grade sandpaper with a little bit of water so they say to sand it because it's slightly raised you can feel a thick layer when you uh, touch it so just to go through it So it did say if I'm not happy, I am. Uh, you can also scrape off the uh, a bit of what you've layered. They said if it's out of line. So I shaved down quite a bit and you, I don't really feel much, but this is a 600 grade um, sandpaper and with a bit of water, I'm going over it again. No, I'm going over it. Um, so it kind of feels almost seamless to the body. You can see here, there, a little bit there. So this is first layer done, basically sealing the actual crack. I will now prepare for the second stage, which is basically just the urushi, just the lacquer.
don't need that much. And this time I'm going to use a brush to apply. Needs a steady hand now. Just to just go over the bit that's left. Yes, I think this is it. So <clears throat> I will let this um, dry up for another day. Third day, the lacquer Urushi has dried. So here they say, the instruction says to send it back with 600 grade with water. So I'm gonna do that now. So now is the final stage. We will do the gold powder and lacquer. So this is the precious gold powder. Look, this is folded almost like um, back in the days in Asia, how they form powdered medicine. I know this sounds very foreign and it makes me sound very old, but this is how they folded it. You see, which is gold powder. You see, that that's the powder. You don't need a lot. Just quickly fold this back because I don't want to. I 
I saw this um, man in, I think he's in Hong Kong. He's a tea merchant holding um, tea, loose leaf tea, obviously, in paper. It's flat, but he makes the paper into like a box form for people to um, take the tea home. And at the end, it was funny, The um, someone next to him offered him sellotape and he's managed to tuck everything in that there were no loose paper hanging and he, he, he just pushed that cellar tape away. <laughs> so I'm gonna use a really thin brush. This is um, a bit longer than yesterday's one. This is yesterday's one. This one is a bit longer and it's a bit thinner. So I'm gonna use that. So now I'm gonna mix the lacquer and the gold. This beautiful color. What humans have been mesmerized for centuries and millennia for this substance, or this mineral rather. Oh, I think I've spread it too far, wasting. Okay, so this is it. So this is the gold and lacquer that will be the final process of Kinzuki try and do the little ones first oh, I can barely see I think from the first experience, the trick is to do it in almost one move, so you have a clean line. Which I'm going to do the most dramatic line here. I might just need a little bit of it. Paraffin. Oh, I think it's white spirit. I'm not very sure. Okay, so I have a little bit of movement. If it was too much liquid, it's gone a bit sideways. Hmm, not bad apart from one spot where I've gone a little bit out of line here. More or less, more or less.
I just said there's a bit that's missed that I didn't cover. I think that's going to be it and you want to overdo it by um, doing any more touch-ups. Just going to fill that with We've made it into a feature. <laughs>